In the month of May, Mental Health Awareness Month was observed to increase awareness of the importance of mental health and well-being, and specifically to raise awareness and educate the public about mental illnesses and the realities of living with these conditions and then strategies for attaining mental health and wellness. So the way I felt like I can contribute to Mental Health Awareness Month is through providing you with the benefits of decluttering and organizing when it comes to your overall mental health and well-being. And I personally wanted to talk about mental health in this podcast because I believe that our environment has an impact on our mental well-being. If our environment is cluttered and disorganized, I believe that it takes a mental toll on us and it does add to our mental clutter and mental weight. I mean, I guess I could go on and quote all kinds of research or theories about that, But let me just ask you, how do you feel when you come home and you're already stressed from the job or you come out of your office if you're working from home and you are tired and then you come out to the kitchen and it is so full of dishes and your dining table is so full of clutter? How does that initially make you feel? I know that for me at least, I feel quite a bit more stressed and sometimes overwhelmed when my surroundings are disorganized. And I believe that an easy way to reduce stress and our mental load is to declutter and organize our environment. And while it's not the ultimate answer to our mental health concerns, it's a good place to begin. And today I want to bring you three of my takeaways from the recent episodes that are dedicated to Mental Health Awareness Month. And I want to let you know that I am not, certainly not talking at you, but I am talking to myself as well as I discuss these three takeaways. Welcome back to Organize with Grace podcast. Do you feel like you're always struggling to get it together? Do you feel like you're burning the candle at both ends, feeling completely disorganized in your home and life, that it's starting to affect you mentally and emotionally? Well, you've come to the right place if you need encouragement, easy and simple organization tips, or you just want to know that you're not alone in this season of life. Hi, I'm Grace Ramon, your fellow working mom and professional organizer. I believe in you, friend. You can get it together. Now let's get organized. Welcome once again to Organize with Grace, and this is Grace Ramon, your host. So for the past couple of episodes, it they have not been easy to um, to record, and that is because mental health is something that is not always easy to talk about, but it is much needed, especially in the world that we live in now. We live in a world that feels out of control and a world that's full of heartbreak and trauma. Um, But at the same time, we also can enjoy the, the good, the beauty um, of, of this world. And I want to share with you three takeaways that I have about, um, about what to do, or how we should treat ourselves and our mental health and well being. And Number one, I want to encourage you that we are responsible for our own mental well-being and that we have control over it and we can own our thinking process. We 
we have the ability to communicate our thoughts. So even the thought of like, you know what, I'm feeling overwhelmed about all of the clutter. I'm feeling overwhelmed about my full schedule. And we have the ability to, to voice that. And I think that um, us being responsible for our own mental well-being is that we, um, in other words, take ownership, meaning that, hey, there is something that I can do. Um, I'm becoming aware that all is not well. And um, let me try to communicate my um, my thoughts and what I am thinking. And that can be simply doing a uh, a brain dump of what of all the things that you have in your mind instead of it living there. Right. And so that is number one is that we have control and we um, can be responsible for our own mental well-being by being able to um, by communicating it, um, whether it be writing it down or letting someone know how we're doing and then to relate it to our possessions um, regarding our that control is that we have control over our possessions and not the other way around, right? Um, we think that sometimes when we look around our home that, you know, dishes are, dishes are piled up everywhere, um, all over your counter, or you haven't seen your dining room table in months, and it just seems also overwhelming. Just know that you have control, meaning that you can start small, that you can start um, little by little. Um, I have a I have a friend who she sent me some bef- wonderful before and after photos of her of her dining room, of her living room, and it was months in in the making. But she said that spending just 15 minutes or 30 minutes a day on it. Um, she came such a long way. I see like a clear dining table. I see um, just the the clutter that she once had is gone. And so number two, I want to encourage you that you have control over your possessions. And number three is that we, and I include myself, we can always reach out for help whenever we feel that it is too much, that we really truly don't know where to start. And it's not a bad thing to ask for help. It's never a bad thing to ask for help. Um, And if you've listened for any amount of time um, in the Organize with Grace, uh, to the Organize with Grace podcast, I repeat this like I'm a broken record. (laughs) <laughs> and I am not apologetic at all because I feel that we need to hear that in in a world or in with I I know you so much in a way that um you're you're a lot like me where if I can do it myself I'll go ahead and do it um but there are times that where it's difficult it's difficult because of the accumulation of um the mental burden, the accumulation of the physical burden, um, or the, the physical clutter is too much. And we do like some type of avoidance with it, meaning like, um, our inability to ask for help and not, and not ask for support of others. And so, um, that's my third takeaway takeaway is, Asking for help is a good thing. Asking for help means that um, that you're human and I'm human, and that's okay. And and this is why I'm here, you know. And I created this Facebook group because um, I want it to be a support for you. I want it. I want us to get to know each other. I I am beginning to invite um, podcast listeners to come in and and join us. And if you are a um, podcast listener. Uh, If you've been listening for any amount of time, I'd love to hear from you. I have been hearing from, um, from others who have been listening or have found the podcast and it just, 
is so delightful to, to hear from you. So that's what I wanted to share. And um, I thank you for, for listening. And so real quick, the three takeaways is we are responsible and we have um, control over our mental health and mental well-being. And we have control over our possessions and we can reach out for help. So thank you so much for listening and have a wonderful day. And I have some episodes in store for you um, that, that I'm going to record for June, where I will be telling you all about what virtual organizing um, truly is and how I can help you as your virtual organizer. So thank you so much again. Hey, real quick, if you enjoyed today's episode, the best way to thank me is by leaving an iTunes review. If you're listening to me right now on your iPhone, simply scroll down, click write a review within the podcast, and voila, you'll get a chance to click five stars and type in how the podcast has helped you. You can also access iTunes on your computer if you're not an iPhone user by downloading the iTunes app. Also, I offer virtual organizing, and that means we get to hop on Zoom together wherever you are, and I can help you organize your space for a fraction of a price that you would spend hiring an in-person organizer. Contact me by email, hello at organizewithgrace.com, so you and I can get started. I offer a free 15-minute assessment to see if we're a good match to work together. So get on it, girl! Stop being stuck on your organizing journey. I'll help you walk forward so you can finish that organizing project that you've been procrastinating on. No judgment here. I've done it myself. But you know what I'm talking about, girl. All right. Can't wait to talk to you. Bye.